Hi and welcome back. So this is the Verlitzer 6144 amplifier which I bought extremely cheaply. Uh, I'm going to remove this circuitry that it has and I'm going to start over and build my own circuit. Well, I'm just going to build a generic amplifier. You can ignore this part because I already have a fully working power supply section here. And I'm also going to just leave the output section alone. So we're just going to build from this point and back here, basically. I'm going to... So what we're going to do is we're just going to remove everything. Every resistor, every capacitor. And we're just going to start over and build our own circuit. This is just a generic amplifier circuit. I found it on this website. But this is just a generic amplifier circuit, more or less. It uses 7N7s. In my case, I'm going to be using 6SN7s, because that's what I have in this amp. They are essentially the same thing, just a different base. The 7N7s are Loctol, and these are just normal Octol. That's the only difference. So yeah, we're going to be building this. It's going to be gonna be way cleaner so I'm gonna use the 6L6 outputs and we're gonna use these two sockets most likely right now they have 6S and 7S in them so we're gonna use that so the actual power amp of this is only going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 tubes 5 including the rectifier but that doesn't really count so it's just gonna be 4 tubes and uh, the rest of the tubes are then going to be unused, and it is 1, 2, 3, 4 vacuum bulbs. It's 1, 6S, and 7, a 6SL7, and some 6SQ7s, which are incredibly high gain tubes. But I have an idea for that, so I'm going to make a power amp section in half of this amp, and then we're going to make a equalizer or active crossover or low pass filter or high pass filter I haven't quite decided yet with the rest of the circuitry so that will be kind of cool that we will have a use for the 6 SQ7s and the rest of these vacuum bulbs here so that's something we can do. So, yeah, we're just going to be doing a complete rebuild of this thing, basically. I'm just going to completely gut everything except the output and power supply. I'm going to probably have to rewire the power supply a bit, but we have plenty of filter caps and all of them are in excellent condition. So No need to change any of that. And when I build this, a lot of these orange drops can be reused. However, I am going to add some of these beauties in there. Because they add a bit more period correct look to the amp. These are ones that are in good condition. And these are dye film probably. These are not the paper type. They are still in good condition. So I'm going to be reusing some of those just to give it a bit of nostalgic look and feel when we build here so yeah gonna have to gut this and that's it's gonna be a bit hard on me emotionally because I don't like destroying stuff but in this case, this amplifier is just unusable as is. I tried to add a gain adjustment here, but even that didn't solve the problems properly. This amplifier just has too much gain. Because this was an organ amp, and organs have pretty low output compared to what we're running. We're going to be feeding this with almost 1 volt RMS from our mixing console. So... Yeah, and you see here I've done experiments and stuff. All of this is just gonna boop. It's gonna go. And we're gonna rebuild this amplifier. 
almost from the ground up. The output section can stay and the power supply can stay. Uh, I'm also gonna swap probably all of the uh, carbon film resistors which are in the output section and power supply section because we all know how reliable they tend to be not so I think I'm probably gonna change a bunch of them also looks like this one here has already been changed at some point and <laughs> it's or it's been overheated so yeah we need to change a few resistors out but yeah we're also gonna get rid of this absolute mess that somebody has done with the recap job because I'm gonna remove the leads and we're gonna make it all pretty and this control can stay but I'm gonna put it on the input as a volume control instead so it's gonna need to be used just not the way I originally intended it for it would have been better if it was here closer to the input jacks but I don't want to drill another am a hole so we're just gonna run shielded cable up here it should be fine so yeah we should start taking this apart <laughs> just all of it remove 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 this is all the fallen soldiers <laughs> plenty of spray capacitors most of them have decent lead length so a lot of these can be reused loads of old driftomatic resistors and this is what's left in here still looks a little bit like a mess but it's not really we have a few high tension connections going to different places and we have some cathode bypass stuff this green wire here is gonna get yeeted it serves no more purpose so yeah it's just a matter of looking through absolutely everything and finding what's gonna stay and what's gonna go most of this wiring is that kind of rubber that gets sticky so needs to be replaced a lot of it the heater wiring I'm going to just keep there's nothing particularly wrong with the heater wiring so we'll just leave the heater wiring alone we'll leave some these yellow leads are all careful bypass caps so we're gonna reuse a bunch of those these are high tension after resistors and stuff like that going out to different places which can be used as plate supplies and here I'm gonna add this resistor here to the screen grid because there was one there and it was burned so removed it other than that this is there's a ground wire going over here remove it I'm trying to remove as much as possible to try and clean this up a little bit not gonna be reusing any of these resistors because they're all drift -omatics. this one I can keep it's a nice one I'm probably gonna reuse a bunch of these orange drops there's nothing particularly wrong with any of those Oh yeah, this is gonna take a little while to rebuild because we still need to remove a lot of stuff. See, we have a ground wire running to there from the ground lug up here. It's kind of hard to see some of this stuff, but yeah, we have few grounds and stuff and some high tension leads go into places which we can reuse here we have to add that resistor back but yeah it's all a work in progress it's gonna be a little bit of a pain to solder to most of this stuff but 
Also, you can see how much lead there is on that capacitor there. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And this grey wire. That's a cathode. Isn't it? No, it's a heater. Yeah, all the... It gets a bit confusing after you've looked at it for a while. But yeah, it's, it's a work in progress. <laughs> <laughs> 